one year has passed since we did this video. Now our fingers are still itching and we are going out today to try to collect some trees from the wild. But first, what time is it, Eric? It's Jamadori time. This is the first location that we have come to and the plan for today, what we're going to start the tree hunt with is the search for larch. So right about here in this place we actually have seen big huge larches. That might be an indication of small trees being located and growing wild here. We also have a lot of other trees, a lot of small trees in the area so let's see what we can find here. Okay, so we weren't really expecting to find birch, but we did. Very nice, fat, almost shoehin like birch, which is growing on stone. So it probably has very decent root surface and roots. What do you think, Eric? It's uh, looking pretty good. It's quite flat, you can almost... Uh lift the whole tree off the ground yeah as you can see it's very loose we're not in uh, any doubt this would be a good material to pick up but uh, let's continue to check the whole place out first larches of today they are growing in the presence of an old tree that has fallen down from the wind. Got uh, like a long cap root that's uh, laying along the rocks. Once again, we are looking for larch exclusively, but this material is not suitable for bonsai uh, due to the tap roots and the aesthetic part of the tree itself. This is another specimen of larch that we are after today, but this cannot be collected due to a super huge taproot. So this one we will leave. Otherwise, it's a beautiful specimen. Two 
we haven't had any success with the larches so far all of them has been with huge tap roots or growing in a bad way not being able to be collected what about this one eric could actually maybe some tree yeah. looks like it has a bit of a tap root that goes this way yeah uh, but it has uh, some small and fine roots here what about the base of the tree is it good the taper yeah it looks pretty decent to me yes. and it has a nice curvature here yeah. nice movement <laughs> yeah if we yeah. just let the camera see here uh, the tree has very nice movement uh, starting from the root surface up here directly you can see a nice curve which is aesthetically very pleasing for a bonsai of course uh, the upper part is very straight though but that could always be fixed with styling I think we have something here actually I think this is uh, a good specimen it's almost like a, a natural pot here yeah it's uh, you have rock here you have um, like uh, soil and moss and uh, here you have another rock so it's like it's sitting on top of the rock right yeah let's mark this up for later and uh, we will return to this place success on the first place that we checked out today uh, i'm pretty satisfied with the results we got one really fat birch with good root system and good potential to a future Yamadori bonsai and we got that large finally let's continue and see if we can find even more Yamadori bonsai trees Okay, so we are at this place where we want to check out the nature and potentially find any good bonsai material for Yamadori. And we're gonna just turn up the hill to the right here and see if there's anything we can find up here. No, there is nothing up here for sure. Everything is growing deep into the mountain or is basically not practical for and suitable for bonsai material. So let's continue. We have just picked up some stuff from the car and we have heavily upgraded our Yamadori toolbox. I wanted to show you guys some of the tools that we are using this year. Okay, the first tool that we use are a regular branch cutter and this is one of the most important tools. Uh, when I first started collecting bonsai this was the go-to tool and it still is because sometimes you have to deal with fat branches or even worse tap roots and this is the only tool that effectively can eliminate those next tool is of course a little practical shovel and what's new for this year is that we have invested money in a power lift because some trees can be very rough and very tough to dig up and they can be very deep rooted in the ground. This uh, mechanism right here will help us to lift up even the toughest of trees. Next up is an ordinary rake found in any hardware store. A foldable saw is very handy when it comes to Yamadori. 
and of course the branch cutter uh, the smaller version of the branch cutter or the secateur as it's called a rock hammer or a gravel hammer is of course handy a crowbar a smaller version something that we have invested in and found very useful and of course the plastic bags we need something to insulate all the roots and keep the moist and the water in the bag water water is something that you have to carry in case the sun is drying the roots very quickly when they are uh, lifted above ground we got two pairs of silver tape to insulate and to close up the bags and a pair of decent working gloves with rubber inside of them So what we are doing right now is that we are cleaning up the surface of the soil level here so we can get a closer look at the roots and how they actually look and how deep they go and how wide they go. Slowly we are working ourselves from the outer diameter into the root surface and the roots themselves. So we are not taking any chances beginning too close to the trunk with the roots. We are slowly working ourselves in. So far so good. So what Derek is doing right now is that he is removing unwanted branches. As you can see this tree has plenty of resources and a lot of branching so that is not a problem at all. This tree has a lot of energy to push out and the buds are just starting to crack open. So this is a perfect time to collect birch, a deciduous species. All these cuts will make the tree bleed. Uh, this will not happen in an instance, but it will happen over time. So what we're going to do when we get home is that we're going to clean up all the cuts and seal those with wound sealant. This way the tree cannot bleed out all the energy and the resources. On a sunny day like this, make sure that you water the roots so they don't dry out in the afternoon sun. It's time to seal up and stabilize the root surface and the root mat. Making sure that transportation back home is safe. <clears throat> As always, when you are digging up a tree like this, you have to cover up and make sure nature is almost left in the condition that you found it. 
hopefully in some years a new tree will grow in this place. Next stop is the Lord, Sherik. Yeah. You ready? Yes. Let's go. Dick. Let's do this. Once again, we are starting by cleaning the area so we can get a better look at the root system. This is all large needles everywhere. All right, so here comes the lift. So that looks promising. Okay, let's pack it up in the plastic bags. We're gonna plant the trees in these containers right here and these are actually being given to us by a store and they use them to store cheese and the material is very robust. So they are perfect for Yamadori bonsai transplanting. We have two of these, we have this one and we have this shallower larger version which will suit our trees perfectly. So here we go. As Eric is watering the plant, I will just tidy up and make sure that the mesh looks just a little bit better.
Now in order to make uh, deciduous trees stop bleeding, especially a species like birch, we have to make sure that we seal up all the wounds and that is exactly what we're going to do right now. Eric is now using Vaseline, but you can use several other products of course. The benefits with Vaseline is that you can find it everywhere and it's pretty cheap. This will now seal up the wound, the cut in the branch, and it will stop the tree from completely bleeding out all the energy. This is especially important in springtime when the vascular system is active and the sap is flowing wild. We ended up with two fantastic future Yamadori bonsai trees. The conditions was perfect, the trees are healthy, they have a nice root system. We were visiting three different places and one of those places actually gave results. And I'm pretty pleased and satisfied with that. Yeah. I hope that I will see you in a Bonsai Talk future near you. Make sure that you check Bonsai Talk out and that you consider a subscription. If there's anything that you like, take care and peace. <laughs>